President Duterte wants to create a panel composed of five MNLF members and five from the government to discuss federalism. So, ganito na lang gawin natin. Let's form a panel because we have to inform the people we cannot negotiate secretly here. Sabi ko, para day to day, they will be brief kung ano ang outcome, how gusto mo ma-apply ang federal system sa gusto mo. But this was not the only response Ms. Suari got from the President. The President's response is also a threat. Ibig sabihin, lalabanan kita. Mm -hmm. oh, yan ang ibig sabihin ni Presidente. Lalabanan mo gobyerno, dinilabanan din kita. Presidential spokesperson Salvador Panela, however, says Ms. Suari's threat should not be taken seriously. Panelo said Ms. Suari was just voicing his frustration on the matter. Knowing the deep, friendly relationship between the two leaders, I'm confident that there will be an agreement. But Ms. Suari's statement did not sit well with Senate President Tito Soto. I wonder if uh, there is a, um, a law against uh, threatening the government. Pangalawa, does he even know what kind of federalism he wants? Why are we going to to uh, uh, jump into something because a a citizen of the country says he wants this or that? For Senator Panfilo Lacson, what is more important now is to closely monitor Ms. Wari, especially with the ongoing transition to the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region for Muslim Mindanao. Former Consultative Committee on Federalism spokesman Ding Generoso, on the other hand, hopes that the issue on federalism will not result into violence. The system is pushing many Filipinos to the extreme and it should not happen. Okay. So sana ito talaga ay uh, mabigyang daan itong pagbabago ng ating sistema. Bim Santos, We Are One News.